Now, have you ever thought to yourself like, damn, what could I do to make a quick $10,000? I needed it like yesterday. I got bills and all type of crap coming up and I'm about to get in trouble if I don't make this money. All right, so this video's goal, by the three minute mark, you'll know exactly where to find partners or clients, as you call them, who are already prepared and happy to pay you 10,000 plus as a setup fee, not a monthly retainer, as a setup fee to give them exactly what they want. So what do I mean? By the five minute mark, you'll know uh, where they gather. You'll also know what bait to hook them with so that they jump right out of the water and into your wallet. Now, by the end of this video, you'll know how to turn just one of these $10,000 plus so-called clients into a partner that generates over 100 k per month for you. So you don't need 5, 10, 15, 25, 30, 35, 40 clients or nothing like that, okay? One partner can be 100000 for you. Now, those, I have to warn you, those that leave before those minute marks risk staying broke and facing the bills that you see in the imagery up here. We don't want that, right? Okay, so now all of that sounds good, but who has even had results with your methods? Well, recently, we've had Samantha right here. She had a 10K goal, and on her first try, she was able to get two gems, and they equaled out 10K. So, how good does that feel? Then we have Coach Keith right here who hit 140K in less than 90 days. You might have heard of him before. He's pretty famous, okay? Now, check this out. Step one. All right, where are the hot fish, a.k.a. upstream fish? You call these clients. Well, first, you need to know the definition. Hot fish definition are business owners already, already seeking you, all right? Why? They already have the budget you require and are working hard to find you, all right? Have you ever experienced that where, where the so-called clients are working hard to find you? There's places like that on the internet, and I'm going to show you examples of them today, okay? So we call this upstream fishing because the fish are feverishly swimming in the direction that's easiest for them to be caught. So the fish, obviously, are the so-called clients that you want. We we get partners. We don't just get clients. We get partners, okay? So they're literally jumping out of the water. In this case, this would be platforms where they are willingly signing up for to either hire you or to get leads, okay? So here's a couple examples. Indeed.com. You've heard of that before. Thumbtack.com and Groupon.com, et cetera. Pretty much a lot of directories that they willingly sign up for. They go back and they check these every day to see if they got leads. They check the messages and stuff, and they're just crossing their fingers, hoping that they got leads. Or they check for resumes for marketing jobs that they're hiring for. All right, so this is an illustration of two parties. On the left, you have the bear. The bear, I'm from St. Louis, the bear is you, okay? That represents you. The fish jumping out of the water straight into the bear's mouth represents this client, this $10,000 client that you want so badly to pay bills and to just scale up and make a lot of money and live life, right? Okay, you want to be this bear. Why? The bear barely has to use any bait or anything like that. It really doesn't, okay? Uh, the fish is swimming in a direction, whether it's to spawn, mate, and, or die, or do whatever the heck they do. They're swimming in a direction feverishly, jumping through the currents straight out of the water, and all the bear has to do is stand there and open his mouth, pause, okay? So you want that to be you, where you just stand there and open your wallet, okay? So I'm going to show you exactly exactly how to do that today. So we got examples of a few of these platforms that you bears can successfully do upstream fishing on. So this is lead generation jobs on indeed.com. If you simply Google lead generation jobs plus the city, it'll pretty much be ranking. Indeed.com will be ranking. And when you click on there, you'll see that it is a, it's thousands of companies hired for lead generation. Okay. Now check this out. If you look down here where it says manager operations, blah, 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 look at the 
full-time pay, okay? So it shows you that these people have the money, eighty-seven dollars to $105,000 a year. They're willing to pay somebody to do this, okay? Then we come to Zip Recruiter. This is another platform. And don't worry, I'll show you exactly what to do in a minute. You're going to see exactly what to do to get these people to pay that ten k or more or just partner with you, period. Okay, so guess what? On Zip Recruiter is 704 lead generation jobs in Houston. Boom. Then one of my personal favorite, you come to Thumbtack. This is where they sign up to get leads. They go and make a profile and they promote themselves. They sell themselves desperately to get people to want to get their services. Okay, now check this out. As I promised, as I promised, you now know exactly where these businesses, uh, uh, they hang out at, all right? And they're happy to pay you $10,000 plus. By the end of the week, if you do exactly what I'm going to show you in step three, okay? All right, so next is to show you uh, what to use as bait to hook them and to reel them into your wallets, okay? I spelled real wrong. Don't worry about that, though. All right, <laughs> it's R-E-E. -E. Let me change that. If you guys want this document, Put it in the com comments, okay? All right, so do I practice what I preach? Well, let me ask you this question, okay? Have you guys ever had a, a, a 26K week before or a 26K day before? Have you guys ever had a $43,000 week or day before? So both of these are Navy Federal. Yes, this is real. I mean, you got to be exclusive to get up in Navy Federal now to playing with you. But okay, these are amounts that I was paid in less than a freaking week. So if you ain't doing this and these are just a couple, then you can definitely learn something today. So humble yourself. Okay, I showed you that my students are making money and that I am making money. Nothing to hide. All right. Now, step two. Step two. What does a smart guy or gal like you watching this video right now use as bait? All right, like how do you get these $10,000 plus upstream fish into your wallets, okay? Well, some people have a different definition of bait than I have today. Let me show you ours. These are assets that are guaranteed to attract this $10,000 hot fish and cause them to swim right past the other fishermen's hooks. Now, keep in mind, there are other agencies that exist, but I have a book. You might want to look it up or something. It's a book. It's called Only Versus Best. We teach you to create irresistible offers and position yourself to where you're the only option for them to buy from. It wouldn't make any sense for them to go with anybody else because all of the rest of them look like clones and they're all offering the same exact thing. Okay? So you want them to swim right past those other agencies. Okay? Because you're the anti-agency. Remember that. These are the agency owners that use the same old pitch and offer. Your bait is to give them what they actually signed up for with no barrier or friction. So if they signed up for leads or sales, you want to give them leads and sales. You don't want to force them to like go through your content funnel or any of that extra bull crap. Just give them what they asked for, bro. If you're really as good as you say you are, marketing and advertising, just give them what they asked for. When you go to the food court at the mall, Subway, you know, Hibachi Grill and a lot of those places, they're as good as they say they are. So what do they do? They have a person out there standing there with platters and samples on those, okay? And when you walk past and you're about to like decide if you want Burger King or McDonald's or something like that, they're like, hold on, hold on, try this. And when you try it off of that toothpick, you're like, oh, snap, you know what? Forget McDonald's. I'm finna go and uh, get me some, you know, sweet and sour chicken from Hibachi Grill real quick. So that's what you want. When you give them exactly what they want, it's like, okay, well, why would I go through the application process on Indeed? How much sense does it make for me to continue interviewing people for lead generation or sales when this complete stranger came out of nowhere and did what I'm going to show you guys next? Okay, so there are two type of baits. All right. A, you can generate them a high quality lead worth a lot to them. So 
Go to their website. So you guys are lazy. Don't be lazy, man. Actually go to these people's websites. See one of their products or services that is the most lucrative for them. Okay. So what I mean by it, it's like profitable. They're going to be extremely profitable, but the fulfillment of that service or product is almost effortless. Okay. So you don't want it to be something that they got to work hard uh, fulfilling. Even if it's paying them a lot of money, it might be a headache to them. Okay. So be very strategic with them. Okay. So yeah, once you generate that lead, then you approach them with it in your possession. For example, we'll We'll say is a dentist and they want people for like, like wisdom teeth removal or something like that. Okay. Like that's like, that, that's, that's something that like really pains people. Those leads are worth a lot. Okay. And, but it's not a hard job for a dentist to remove a wisdom tooth. So that might be something that they like, yeah, man, I love that one. I want to wrap that up. So you generated that lead, you approached them. You said, Hey, what days are you, are you available on this day? Do you have openings for this day? They're going to be like, yeah, you need to book an appointment. No, nah, I'm booking for somebody else. This guy named Jeffrey, uh, I almost said Dahmer. This guy named Jeffrey, he's going to come in at 6 PM and he needs his wisdom tooth removed he has this type of insurance or he's prepared to pay any cold fee out of pocket and all of that extra stuff all right i'm gonna call back and check on them all right boom so they're gonna be like who the hell is this okay so then you call back after that date and be like yo i'm just i'm the dude that sent you jeffrey blah 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 i'm just checking to make confirm that he actually showed up they're gonna be curious as hell they're gonna be curious as like well i can't give you patient information but I do want to know, like, like, who are you and what do you do? Boom. Now you're in a position of authority and power and everything like that. Okay. Now let's go to B, my personal favorite, because there's no better display of skills on your part. Okay. Check this out. You can go a step further and give them what they actually want because they signing up for leads, lead generation. But to tell you the truth, what they actually want is a new customer, okay? So that means you simply generate the lead yourself, close the sale, collect the payment, plus their jo uh, the job info or the patient or customer info, then transfer the collected payment, payment data or whatever, to the K hot fish. So if this is a um, dentist, we are using dentists, I guess, see if they have something on their website, some type of Invisalign fitter or teeth whitening kits that they sell or something like that. Okay. You actually run the ad or do whatever you got to do to make the actual sale. There's something called reciprocation. If they're already, keep in mind, these are people that are already hiring. These are people that are already posted on these websites that they're hiring or need lead generation or sales and all of that stuff. So when you approach them like, yo, here's the money for this. Here's the person that purchased it. And this is what you can potentially upsell them with a little bit later. What? Who are you? Where did you come from? Well, I saw your uh, ad on indeed.com saying that you're hiring for lead generators. I just thought I'd take it a step further and get you a sale. I don't feel like going through the application process. Uh, I'm remote. You don't have to pay me any uh, health insurance or slip and fall lawsuits or none of that extra stuff. I just want to continue doing exactly what I just did for you. Boom. Boom. You don't have to do a damn thing. This You, you can do this in a couple days or even I've done it in 24 hours. Okay, so check this out. If first impressions are everything, this solidifies you in their hearts. No need for case studies anymore, testimonials. No need for trials. You only need one sale or lead, and they'll have the confidence. You know, they'll have confidence. You know that you're what you're doing for their company. Now, a question comes up for you guys. You might not say it. Put put your questions in the comments. Matter of fact. If you're like, this is absurd or this is genius, right? Okay, but put your questions in the comments. Maybe you're like, yo, well, what if I'm out there generating leads and these people that I, I talk to that come in as leads don't purchase from me right off bat or, or something like that? Well, you want to be wise, guys. What I teach my students in agency to partner and in copy and paste rentals is guess what? If I'm selling something for a thousand bucks, and the person only has 700 bucks, 
typically I'm charging way more than my competitors. So this opens you up to be able to go ahead and take that lead and just go to your competitors. Remember, they're not your competitors. Turn them from competitors to collaborators. Now you have an open chain in the supply. Now you control the supply and the demand. So you, you reach out to your so-called competitors like, yo, I charge more than you. That's the only reason why I'm doing this. I wanted to charge them a thousand, but uh, according to your hourly service fees and all of that, uh, this person can afford to pay you 700. I already have the 700 in my possession. Uh, I just need to know if you're available on this date to do the party bus. They say, yeah, I'm available on that date. Boom. All right. Now you got it. <laughs> or if you ain't got, if you didn't collect the money, you say, Hey, from now on, I'm going to be sending you people that uh, can afford my services. I see you are already buying leads from Thumbtack and Angie's list. How much are you willing to give me for every lead that I send you that I can't service? Boom. So now whatever lead comes in, you're doing lead arbitrage. Whenever a lead comes in that you can't like sell to, you're simply going to resell them to like three or four other dang on service providers in that niche. That's exactly what Thumbtack does. One lead comes in and they say, sell it to 12 people for 12 to 20 bucks and they make a couple freaking hundred dollars. You can do the exact same damn thing. If they want exclusive leads with you, they need to partner with you and pay you something. All right. But anyway, I'm moving, I'm moving on. Okay. So they'll pay you handsomely, but don't worry. You're not going to do this without profiting yourself. While you do this, while you're generating this sale, you want to add your cut on top. So that's why I said mines would be a thousand versus the seven hundred dollar uh, party bus. Okay, I don't know how I switched from dentist to party bus, but I'm just giving you an example. Okay, so my profit would be three hundred. The limo, uh, the party bus person will get the seven hundred, and they get a customer. Boom. All right. So now. That's what you do, guys. See, I'm giving you guys a whole freaking run through. What do you think so far? Put it in the comments. Let me know. Okay, so now we're not we're not done. You're like, okay, well, I'm new at this. Like, I'm new to this, but true to this. How do I even get the lead? You know, how do I get it for free? Or how do I get it at least like cheap to where I can get the leads and the sales? Okay, so what you want to do is reverse engineer success. All right. If you're brand new, never bought some course or you bought a course and you just haven't had success with ads or any of that extra stuff. Guess what? There's something called the Facebook ads library. Simply Google the Facebook ads library. Go in there and it will show you when you search the niche or industry in the box. It'll show you all of the people running Facebook ads at that time. It'll show you if they're profitable or not. How do you know if they're profitable or not? OK, so this is a party buzz example. This party buzz ad is horrible, but this one is just uh, just running. They just started running this one not too long ago. But what you want to do is find the ones with the dates on them that says at least a few months back because they're not going to run an ad that's losing them money. They're not going to continue running it. So if you find it says they're they're using run uh, for ads. If you find an ad that these people are running that's been around for three months, six months, a year or more, then that means, woo, that's good. And all you want to do is you want to copy that ad and you want to use it in your area. Maybe tweak a few things, add your irresistible offer. Now, next, let's say you want to do this on Google. And this will work if you're trying to copy YouTube ads and Google search ads, okay? There is something called the Google Ads Transparency Center. They created it just like Facebook Ads Library did. They're like, hmm, that's a good idea. Let me do that too, okay? So now, if you come over here, you'll see the companies that are running party bus ads and you can see their call only ads. This one at the bottom is a these are call only ads where they just they don't even have to go to a website. They just click the ad and it automatically, you know, fills uh, the number into their phone and they can just like call straight from their phone without having to visit the freaking website. It's awesome. Then up above are the the you know the regular search ads and stuff. See, and you can just copy these guys. So if you had no experience or uh, nothing, like kill it, man, kill it now. The next one is my personal favorite out of all the options, though. Woo, man, drum roll for me, all right? And it's obvious, too. Ta-da! In my Peter Griffin voice, you want to go back to the platforms that you found these people on. Maybe not Indeed.com, but if you're if these people are signing up for Angie's List or, or uh, 
you know, Thumbtack or something like that, guess what you can do? You can put a listing on Thumbtack too. The leads come to you. So you don't even have to know any marketing skills or run any ads. Just sign up your party bus or business or whatever it is on the same platform where you found these 10K hot fish. And when the leads come in and a job come in, when you close that job or get that good lead, you just hit them up. Like, yo, I'm on the same platform as you, but I don't, you know, I want to partner with you. I don't want this job right here. Let's do this. Boom. There you go. That's don't get no more simplistic than that. Now, this was easy, guys, but there's six more monetizations that we teach you to plug in. Is in total is going to be like 10 monetizations. I said six, but I didn't even show you all of that. Okay. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> there's a total of 10 monetizations that we teach you to plug in to each business that you partner with. This is why you don't want clients you want partners because uh, a client might get a retainer with you and be stu you'll be stuck at ten thousand dollars a partner you can get profit share you can get some type of base and you can get equity once you prove your worth so if they were to ever sell off the company you participated in that exit without even investing <laughs> Woo -wee! okay so check this out what I gave you is more than enough for you to go out there and turn one partner into a mountain of cash that you both enjoy. You can go to the first pin comment. We have a community with coaching inside the community plus training where we show you how to plug in. First, you convert clients into partners and we show you how to simply just plug in the 10 monetization methods where you can start making money within 24 to 48 hours of dealing with these partners without extra sales or getting more clients. Now check this out. If you need assistance, don't worry. We'll grant you a two to one. I don't like saying one on one cause ain't nobody getting on me, but a two to one coaching session over Zoom with me and Curtis. Curtis, he sells and buys businesses. He's legitimate and me, I am the king of the online Okay. All right. So we'll help you set up everything you've seen here and more. The best part is we'll even finance the entire 5k experience. So you don't have to pay it out of pocket today yourself. This is what real freedom looks like, folks. This is what real freedom had the road to R because I'm in Panama, you know, still don't know Spanish yet, but I had the road to R. This is what freedom looks like, guys. I want you to go to the first pinned comment. You will see where you can get the finances for the two to one session. You get him and me teaching you how to plug in the 10 monetization methods plus the Cinderella equity section. Come on, guys, where you can literally without shark tank methods, you can buy into businesses, own equity, using skills instead of using dollar bills. Okay, let me, guys, let me see you guys on the inside. All right.